That night, Esfrost invades Glenbrook without warning. The attack is all the more shocking, coming on the eve of the two nations' grand new mining venture. The duchy easily rushes into the Crown City, taking advantage of Glenbrook's unprepared defenses. Caught unawares by the sudden assault, Glenbrook's scattered forces can do nothing to fend off the invaders. Serenoa and his retinue rush from the mines to King Regna's aid, slipping past the siege into Whiteholm Castle via the secret passage known only to Prince Roland. Hold strong! Don't let them get to the castle! Aye, sir. That armor, the black irons. Esfrost, Esfrost is attacking. What? Why does the duchy march against us? This is a flagrant breach of the treaty. Levy a complaint against Archduke Gustadolf immediately. I fear we're past the time for formal complaints, Your Highness. We can hold them no longer. We must inform His Majesty at once. Of course. My father and Cordelia must be protected at all costs. Esfrost invaded the Crown City by night! Preposterous! Gustadolf, what is that bastard scheming? Lord Simo, I bring word from King Regna. He says, should the Crown fall, Glenbrook is in your hands. Your Majesty. Fetch my armor! I march to the Crown's aid! Please, my lord. At least wait for Lord Serano and his retinue to return. Out of my way! I pledge my loyalty to his majesty, and it's a vow I intend to... Your heart, my lord! Summon a healer, quickly! Damn it! Death cannot take me yet! Serano, Benedict! Halt! This is the encampment of House Wolfort. Splendid! For it's Lord Wolfort himself that I came to see. Lead me to him, my good man. <laughs> Big words from a shady-looking fellow in that ridiculous garb. Be gone at once! Ridiculous? Why, I'll have you know that these robes are a treasured relic of... Did I ask about your robes? I said, be gone. all the commotion here. This strange lad demands an audience with you, Lord Serenoa, and stubbornly refuses to leave. The name's Nard. Grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandante, here to offer my services. The Archmage Grandante? Forgive me, but in all my years of studying the arcane arts, I've never once heard that name. You haven't? Oh, I see. I suppose you won't have. Ah, I'm sorry if I offended you. 
You needn't apologize, miss. Let's start over, shall we? Let me show you just what the final disciple of the Archmage Grandante can do. Incredible. Well, what do you think? I've never seen anything quite like it. Were you born with magic like this? Or perhaps... My illustrious grandfather, the Archmage Grandante, that is, taught me all I know. Please, let me join your army. I'm most certain my sorcery could avail you to no end. Lord Saranoa, this boy possesses remarkable talent. I must admit, he would make a formidable addition to our forces. Thank you, Jila. Narv, I welcome you to House Wolfort. Thank you, my lord. My magic will change the world. Just do wait and see. City is under attack? By whom? Estros, it appears. They say the Archduke himself leads the charge. Gustadov, then this will be no mere skirmish. What shall we do, my lord? Protecting the royal family is House Warford's duty. Let's bide our time and see how they fare. You would not make for the capital, my lord? Our kingdom's very fate hangs in the balance. Which is all the more reason why we must not act rashly. Esfros is too strong a foe for House Teliar to face on our own. For now, tighten our defenses and bring me what information you can. Yes, my lord. beneath the castle. Who'd have thought? None but the royal family knew of this secret. They were built as a last resort, should the worst come to pass. It doesn't appear anyone else has been down here before us. Father must still be within the castle. Along with a host of enemy soldiers, they appear to have breached the gates. It truly is Esfrost. But I do not understand why. We will seek understanding later. For now, we must protect His Majesty and the Royal Family. Aye. We'll smuggle them to safety one way or another. We must take care. The castle has fallen into our enemy's hands. Thank you. 
Hey, what's a child like you doing in such a lonely place? I have nowhere else to go. Where are your parents? They died years ago. My lord. My name is Serenoa. What's yours? Picoletta. Picoletta? You throw that ball with such skill because it's my job. When I throw this ball, everyone applauds. Well, they used to, but the circus is gone now, so I'm all on my own. What are you doing here, mister? We are trying to put an end to this war. I hate war. War made everyone go away. You're really gonna end the war? Then let me go with you. Uh ball and help you fight the bad people. Oops. There goes my tummy grumbling again. My lord, we cannot simply leave this poor child here. <sighs> I know. All right then, Piccoletta. Come with us. But before we go fight the bad people, let us fill our bellies. After that, perhaps you could show us some tricks with your bowl. Sure thing. That's what I'm best at.